Hey everyone, we're here on Arcadia still. And so, I thought we would do these Wombanas. They have about 500 hit points. We haven't codexed them at all. They look like little avian chick creatures, kind of. Uh, about 500 hit points. Give or take. Um, these are the lower maturities, so it should be right around that 500 to 700 zone. But we're down here. See how they kind of look like a weird chick? Like a, a baby bird. Anyway. I don't know what they're trying to go with. With that model. But that's what they kind of remind me of. So that's what we're, I'm going to stick with. Until someone's like. Nah they're really this. I'm like. Oh that makes sense. We're down here in the Arcadia Underground. That's where they're found. They're found here for the low maturities. Here for the middle maturities. And down here for the higher maturities. I'm trying to stay away from the thousand hit point ish ones. Which I think is the top end down there. And so, especially because they do acid damage. And we're not really well equipped to deal with that. And so we're just going to sneak out here. If they attack us, we're going to throw down our sword here for the healing. If not, we're going to get out here a second. Oh, and then uh, we're just going to start lighting them up. Oh yeah, they got a pretty significant amount of hit points. And still do damage through the mayhem armor. Oh, there's the challenge unlocked. That's good. Oh, the mature ones aren't so bad, though. It's just those older maturities. As we move up, they get progressively harder, obviously. But when they start at 500 hit points, by the third, fourth maturity, you're up in the 7-800 zone. It can go up pretty steep at times. And so an old will have like 500 hit points. The youngs have like 440. And so by the time you get up in the higher maturities, you're up in the almost 800 hit point zone. 780, I think is what it said. And so we're getting about 11 points per kill on that challenge. Which means it's going to be a pretty significant amount of kills to complete that 500 or so. I don't know, we'll be able to do that in a single stretch or if we'll have to break it up into two sets. Looks like they're spread out a little thinner to the north than they are the south there.
And so far it looks like just kind of normal loot, which I would expect. It's only a level 6 mob. Outside of like some mob specific hide, like we got right there. I wouldn't expect to see much. Although they seem kind of popular. There's a couple of people down here. So I kind of wonder what they're after. I wonder if they have some rare drop or whatnot. Right? It's got a weird tongue thing going on. Looks like a little baby bird. That's angry. About 3% or so per kill on the, the youngs, and obviously more on the higher maturities. Well, it's obviously a doorway to the north somewhere, to a different passage. I guess that's supposed to be an underground lake. So that's kind of neat. Oh, we just got some treasure maps, so you can loot those in the underground still. I don't know what the treasure maps are used for. We did have a bunch here at one point, though, from buying those Arcadia underground deeds. I guess there's some quest that you can trade those maps for some instance keys. So 
So we'll see which maps I even have outside of those two we just looted, right? Four and three. Yep. We'll see what we got in storage. Although I don't recall seeing them, so we might not have anything there anymore. I might have moved them to Calypso or something. These guys are pretty easy to kill, though. Um, again, with the right armor. You wouldn't want to get swarmed with no armor on fighting these guys. I think that would hurt a little bit. Oh, respawn right on top of me. Luckily, this one will be dead before it aggroes. We're just going to try and work our way south a little bit. And there's our first codex rank. Let's see what our reward is. Oh, some more decks. One and a half percent or so. And we're barely over 5% of the way through that kill point challenge. These guys are really popular. Now I'm curious what they dropped that's so got everyone out here hunting them. Or are they all out here trying to mine? That'd be even more weird. Nope, I hear him firing a gun, so. Curious kind of what they're after. If they're just codexing like us, or if uh, they're after a specific drop.
All right, we're just heading south a little bit. I guess straight ahead, southeast is where that corridor is. It'll drop us down into the mid-level maturity Wambana zone. Of course, if we go too far into that middle zone, I think we're going to have to swap to our high d higher DPS rifle. And I'm trying to kind of avoid that. Oh, there's another. So these guys drop the three and the four periodically. I wonder what drops like the one and the two. Maybe those Droma? They're low, probably the lowest level thing in here I know of. Dromia, sorry. Well, that was a nice one, a little over five pad, five and a half or so. All right, moving forward. We are getting a fair amount of that Wambana hide, though.
Yeah, these are pretty easy to kill. They hit so infrequently, I think even without good armor, I think you can just heal yourself. As long as you're paying attention. I always uh, stop paying attention to my life at some point when I'm having to play like that and then I end up dying. So I try to overdo it on the armor a little bit. Just so I don't have to worry about it. We're getting kind of close to that corridor. I think there's our doorway over there that we see opening and closing. Looks like we're going to break that first rifle. We got a backup one, though. There we go. Although I kind of think we could just melee through this for a second. I wouldn't want to melee with the pixie armor on.
Well, it looks like there's a moderate grouping here on the way out or in, depending on how you look at it. In between us and the door. Definitely think you're going to want to go with something a little more uh, kill friendly, we'll say. Higher DPS. Looks like there's a few more between us and the door. I mean, not for long, but... All right, we're about 15% through that kill point challenge. And we're going to sneak through this little corridor here. And on the back side here to the south, there should be higher level of those Wombanas. Oh, and here's the other door. Ooh, look, there's some fruit on the ground. 178 pieces, that's a nice little find.
So that's the third treasure map three we've gotten today. Let's double check before I misspeak. No, it, it's the third one we've got. So they're not too rare. They are a little uncommon though. So it said higher maturities, but then they're young here still, so. We are seeing some gardens and stuff, so. And there's our third treasure map four. Oh, there's another treasure map for. I said they were pretty uncommon, and then they just started dropping all over the place for a second. I wish it worked like that for other stuff, where I was like, no, nah, these are pretty rare, and then they just start dropping left and right like tail tips.
Maybe they're just some comment on the the youngs. On these providers and stuff, they seem to be dropping pretty regularly. All right, we're closing in on that next rank. Oh, there we go, an old alpha. That's the highest maturity we've seen in this section. So far, anyway. Pretty exciting. Right here is our next Codex rank, I think. Got some more decks there. Got a skill boost. 29%. We're not going to complain about it. Extra skill is always good, no matter how much. Oh, well, that was a nice one. Twelve and a half head. And we're a little over 20% of the way through that kill point challenge.
Let's get a little bit of a buffer in here. Onto this next codex. And so we'll kill a few more. Oh, now they're starting to get thick populated in here. Maybe this is where we should have started. Well, you don't know till you know. You know, that's a nice one. Let's go ahead and end on a positive note. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Stay epic.